Inspection day. We're both tired. Now I'm more tired. I did a 13 hour shift and I was awake for 24 hours already. And then this morning you guys saw that clip. Oh, hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. And then this morning you guys saw that clip we took the RV, we, he took the RV to inspection. How did that go? <laughs> like, what do they do? Nothing. They just, uh, the whole point of inspections is they... For, if you buy off auction in New York, is it just New York? Yeah, well, it, well it depends. State to state, state. But in New York, they want to make sure you don't steal anything from other vehicles. Not necessarily RVs, it's cars. So there's yeah, no stolen like, parts. Because what was happening before is um, people would use stolen parts to repair vehicles so and just um, insurance way. rates were going up so just to control that they and make more money for new york they do because why not new york is always looking to make a penny i think it's 205 dollars just to get that just paperwork for rolling. rv yeah. for cars it's cheaper so no, and it's the, the, same. It's the verdict five. is we passed <laughs> we passed <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i think you expect it to pass i want to make sure that all the vin numbers match yeah There's, you know this is the original unit so now we are clear to go and paperwork for that is going to take like... He said two to three weeks. So we bought ourselves another two to three weeks where to, we can slack. <laughs> I know. To hopefully... Okay, so today this is what we want to do. We'll try, we're like sitting here trying to talk what we want to do. We have to clean... Fascinating. We have to clean... Well, you know, like clean everything, wash it because we can't climb anything until we see clean it. it up. So as you guys can see there, we know we started cleaning off the ceiling. The ceiling is hard to do because you're constantly, you're, like if you ever have to blow dry your hair, you know the struggle. <laughs> but we obviously have to clean it first before you can tape it off and prime it. So I guess, the, I think it's gonna take like a full day. Take off the valances. Are we gonna tape anything I'm gonna take today? all the lights down. Take, take all the, the lights AC down. Vents, just, right. just like prep it so that we can clean it, not even prime it today so we'll see we'll see how much we get done and then the goal is to kind of paint everything together once we prime this part paint that as well as that all in like one run yeah I, like, I, I wanted like, this slack today but i think we should at least try to. to do something yeah i feel like that's that's like the majority that's kind of like it's like annoying work you know you have to and do of all it. days today is one of the hottest i think we're reaching 90 degrees here so yeah we'll see we'll see how much we get done it's
a beautiful day out. It's like in the 60s, so it's a perfect day to work. And I think today we are going to finally paint, prime and paint the RV. So let me show you what we did so far because it's been a minute since I showed you where we were at. I'm trying to open the door with my coffee. Ta-da! Don't mind the rooster in the background. Our neighbors have a lovely rooster. The last clip that you guys saw was us taking down all of the window treatments, taking down, my husband took down everything off the ceiling. We took down the old like trim pieces that hid the seams. We just threw them out. We're gonna replace them with like wood ones, wider wood ones, better quality. My husband said he went ahead and, I don't know if you can see, but some areas in the ceiling he used some kind of nails to help better secure it. There's like one right there. I don't even know if you can tell, probably not, because everything is so white and bright. Because there you go, you can kind of see like the white dots right there. Because the nails or the staples they were using, and I think he used staples too, but the staples they were using, um, everything was just like, anything would be falling apart, they just stapled it in. A trim piece would be falling apart, they stapled it in. Wallpaper's falling apart, they stapled it in. That's what it seemed like everywhere, including the bedroom. Like here they got staple happy, you can tell the trim pieces would be coming off or whatever those are called, and they would just like staple, 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 staple. So my husband took all those out and just secured whatever needed securing into this vinyl ceiling here. And he then we went ahead and washed everything because it was so dirty from the smoke, the fire, I don't know if you guys remember, that whole section right there was pretty hard to clean. It just wasn't coming off even with like magic eraser. And the ceiling is groovy. It has like grooves in it. So it was very hard to get into like the nitty gritty. And then some of it went into the nail holes and behind the nail holes. So once we cleaned it, my husband went ahead and sanded everything from the ceiling to the walls, basically the ceiling and the walls, to the window, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, just kidding. And uh, he, he uh, what, was, what was I saying now? So he sanded the entire ceiling, including the bedroom, all of the walls, he used like the electric sander, and then in areas he couldn't reach, went in with like a hand, a hand sander, just like, but did it by hand. And because this is wallpaper, this is not sheetrock in RVs, this is not uh, plywood, the exterior is a little different, but they basically adhere wallpaper onto whatever surface. Here I think my husband said it was fiberglass, and over there it's like fiber, uh, plywood of sorts, and they just adhere the wallpaper onto it, so you can't just paint over it because the paint can come right off, so we had to clean it, sand it. Most, most videos will tell you that if you want to paint RV walls, you might want to sand them. That's like the way to go. Prepping is definitely key anytime you want to paint. So sanded it and because of the sand, there's a lot of like loose particles, sand particles. So went ahead and washed it several times to get rid of everything. And then he taped it all off. And this is where we are at. He said he will never complain about painting a house again because there's just so much to tape off when it comes to an RV. I don't know if you guys can tell, there's like these here. He took off all the trim pieces so they wouldn't get in the way. Then he'll just put them back on. We had, he did the floor, the cabinets, all the little nooks and crannies because obviously you don't want to get anything dirty. The entertainment unit here and you want to you want to prime it in like one go and then paint it in one go because this was a lot of work. It's, I know we haven't didn't have a vlog up last week because essentially this is all that he has been doing. The prepping is it's a lot of work. Like my parents keep asking us, so did you guys paint yet? And I'm like, nope, still cleaning. Prepping, uh, prepping, priming, braining. No. So now we're finally ready. Today's the day. It is bright out. It was too late to do it yesterday to go ahead and prime everything. And then hopefully this week we can prime and paint it. So I wanted to show you guys the before. This is the unit before any primer, any paint. We are gonna do the bedroom as well. Just not the bathroom. The bathroom's like the only thing we're not gonna do. That, that we'll worry about later. But I wanted to show you where we were at before I had this, before we went ahead and primed it and painted it. We did also buy paint yesterday. We're gonna use that same primer that we used in the toy hauler, the one from Sherman Williams. All our paint we use is from Sherman Williams. We just love their paint. And for paint color, we picked, I believe, Snowbound. We got this exterior, I believe, flat finish so that we can hide all the, you know, all the things that we don't wanna see. Resilience, 
flat exterior acrylic latex and I believe the color is Snowbound. Yes, it is Snowbound. So that's the color that we are going for. Hopefully it's nice because we already bought the paint. And uh, But first obviously we have to prime it and like I said, we're just going to use that same exact that same primer that we used for the toy hauler garage portion. It just has like a really good good grip which is exactly what we want. It is the next day. We finished priming the entire unit, including the bedroom. Started with the ceilings and then did the walls. That part is finally done and our goal today is to start painting the ceiling with the ceiling paint and then hopefully paint the walls as well. That's going to be a different paint. It's that snowbound color that I showed you guys. But this is the look with the primer. Already it's looking so much better because it looks fresh. Smells fresh, doesn't have like that smoke, burnt smell. But it's looking good, slowly but surely. We are getting there. decided to bring pepper in here but we are done with the ceiling paint my husband did two coats everywhere including the toy hauler garage portion you did two coats right uh, yeah so uh, the garage is only one coat oh uh, one coat in the garage yeah. yeah it's looking better and better painting is next I'm surprised how white it is I know I love compared it compared to the primer the paint is going to be different because the paint is not white. Do you have a, uh, did you open the can or not yet? Let me see. It might look similar to the primer actually. Put it in the light. This is natural. What am I looking at? The little, oh, it's right here. It's dry. I can see it. Right there. I know. I showed that before. Oh, I didn't know you saw it. I wanted you to open it. <laughs> it's, it's wet. It's not good. You're not going to see the color. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Well, <laughs> once we paint it, <laughs> like, yeah, let me put it in a light. Whatever. Once we paint it, you guys will see. So this is before, nice, bright, and white. Let's get to painting.
guys, this is the next day. It is Friday. Two days of work of priming and painting. The taping, not including the taping off, but this is the big reveal. Ta-da! This is the finished look. Let me do like a quick scan through to show you the full result before I talk about what exactly we did in here. But it's looking so much better. We are going to do peel and stick tile on there. So that's why it has like still has the nails. We didn't cover the nail holes because we are going to do a peel and stick tile. So it doesn't even matter. Technically, we don't even have to paint it. But we did just in case. I am so over painting. We chose the color Snowbound for the paint just because the cabinets have a bit of a warmth to them. When we were first painting it on, it looked like it was a lot lighter than what we thought it would be. But when we compared it to, like when I compare it to this white stool right here, for example, you can tell that the paint is more of like a, has like a peachy warm undertone to it, which I actually love because as you, because like, as I said, the cabinets do have like a warmer tone to them and it just kind of makes everything blend in together nicely. So I love the color. This is the color Snowbound from Sherman Williams. We did two coats on the ceiling, two coats on the walls, just because the primer that we used, um, it wasn't exactly opaque. So we didn't want any of that wallpaper pattern uh, peeking through. So we did two coats just to be safe everywhere. And it's looking good, you guys. Next step is putting everything back together. The microwave, the speakers, the lights, the trim, putting in some new trim right here to cover up the seams. Got to paint the trims, but the brunt of the work is done. Other than the toy hauler, we didn't paint the garage part because it wasn't taped off. So we didn't want to waste any time taping off since the brushes and stuff were already dipped in paint. So that we're going to do another time. It's not a big deal. As well as the floor, the kitchen booth here that we want to do. Let me show you the bedroom. Can't believe the painting part is all over. This is the finished result of the paint. There was a lot of prep work involved if you want to paint RV walls, but it actually finally smells like a house instead of that like burnt smell when we first bought it. And then we painted in here as well. Look at this, nice and fresh. A lot of prep work, a lot of little nitty gritty areas you gotta get into, but it just looks so much better painted. And then I do wanna do shiplap, just like a white shiplap and buy a neon sign to put over the bed. I think it would be super fun. I wanna buy one that either says love never fails or let's stay in bed, something fun. You know, I feel like with RVs, you can be more quirky, more fun. Um, I don't wanna be too quirky in here cause I still want it to be my style, but I'm loving how it's coming along and I'm excited to hopefully finish it up soon. So this is the, this is where I'm gonna end the vlog, our little painting adventure. It's two vlogs combined in one, passing inspection and just cleaning it for prep, prime and paint. <laughs> that part is over. I feel like that's all we've been doing, prep, prime, paint. Me and my husband have like a joke. We're like, all right, let's go prep, prime and paint. <laughs> so yeah, that is over. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more fun vlogs.